Hello viewers, this is GamerZack, and welcome back for more Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Last time, we've learned that the Ritos are in distress because their sky spirit, Valu, is angered. This time we're gonna try to do- we're gonna try doing something about it. But, first of all, we wanna go over here. There's this guy here, there's a new person at this minigame. If you've seen episode 6, you'll know... You'll know what this game is. It's very frustrating. Pardon me for asking, but your link are you? Yes. Ah, I knew it! You're a legend among the part-timers here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was funny. I really admire you, man. Just once, I'd love to see the legendary 25 letter star. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun with this. All right, watch. And on my first take! Yes! Oh my gosh! 25 letters! Amazing, man! I'm so impressed, seriously, man! I gotta tell my mom back home all about this, I just gotta... I've got a favor to ask of you, man. I'm still new here, so I'm not allowed to leave, so would you mind putting this letter to my mom in the post box for me? You work at a post office, but you can't mail a letter. Alright, well, at least fill his... Request fill his request. F fulfill his request. There we go. Much better. I should just throw it in there with all the other letters, but I just can't bring myself to do it. It's against the rules, man. Yeah. Um. I wonder what that's like. Like just putting this letter in the mini game. Uh, I put it in the in the symbol that looks like a like Tingle's head. Ha <laughs> ha Now Tingle's gonna read it. I wonder if they actually go to actual places, so if you put it like in the wrong box, people are gonna get into the wrong the wrong letter. What am I saying wrong box? Wrong cubby. It's actually called a cubby, yes. Anyway, let's go to the post box here. And get this, this is really jerkish. Good morning! Welcome to the island post service. What do you have for delivery? Yes, the post box talks. I I, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. A chunk power. This post box is near Dragon Roost Island. Postage is only five rupees. What? See, see, this is what I meant by jerkish, because it it costs ruby, rubies, rupees. Gosh. For those of you who have seen episode two, you know that this was common. Me just pronouncing things just awfully. Anyway, now that that's out of the way in such a short amount of time. We can act fall off this slope. No, we can go talk to Medley because she wanted us to meet her to the in the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern. And that sounds like a good idea because we need to help the Ritos with their problem. Therefore, Prince Co Prince Komali will give us Din's pearl. But, and uh, this is the wrong place. This is this is the entrance, but this is like a balcony to it, not the actual place. Um, where? Wait a minute. Was it over? Wait, where is the? Hold up a sec. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Now we're actually down here, and there's a bunch of ash. But here's Medley, let's talk to her. Hey, you actually came! Uh, okay. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to, I wouldn't have asked to, if I didn't need hope desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Valu, he became so angry, and in his rage he shook the mountain and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Huh, that's odd, like that like the mountain is like shaking. It's like Majora's mask when you're on the night of the final day. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me, how was Prince Komali? Oh, that doesn't sound right now at all. 
see, if you look at Link's face, it is enough to start, continue, and end conversations. And he doesn't even have to say a word. He is that good. It's an honor to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and expressed in her dealings with the Great Baloo. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. Oh, wow, that, that you're so you're in this ah, whatever. <laughs> Link, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. You get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I can get up there. So, will you help me? Y yeah. Phew, thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. The, then face that ledge and toss me. The atmosphere currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. <laughs> Alright, you see the direction the ash is blowing? It shows wh what direction the wind is blowing. And when the wind is blowing in the direction I am facing right now, that is when you want to throw her. So basically, just run forward and press A. A is probably the most the button you press the most. Unless if you're like in this place. We're gonna go to this place real soon where it's probably gonna be the B button. Oh, throw her! <laughs> and she made it onto the ledge. If she actually bumps her head on the wall, she'll get like all dizzy with stars around her, her eyes will go all around. It's really funny. It's like in Pokemon when you're confused. Oh, thank you. I think now we'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Valu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may be just an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Valu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence. But look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Komali. That language, um, there, there is the ancient tongue in this game. You, you have no idea what it means. But I can translate it for you, like I can just put annotations as what they're actually saying so that you don't have to look it up online. Yeah. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. So to remember Medley, we get glass in the form of a bottle. Actually, I should not be saying that about the empty bottle. Believe it or not, the empty bottle is one of the most useful items in any Zelda game. The best part is you can hold as you can get as many as four of them, but for now we only have one. Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Oh, <laughs> well, good luck to both of us. All right, um, what we actually want to do? Um, want to climb back up here? Wait, we're actually going to use the bottle she just get she gave us like ten seconds ago. Not even. We're gonna get some water from here. And we filled our bottle with water. No, we filled it with like, uh, like fire. We filled it with fire. Be quiet, gamer Zach. Anyway, you see these withered plants? Well, we should pour water on them. It'll help them grow. And guess what's what they actually are? They are bomb flowers. What we want to do, we want to throw it onto that rock. Explodes. It sounds like being slapped across the face. It didn't sound like an explosion. And then the spring will be restored, but there will still be ash falling around and everything. So yeah, it's still not good. Volcanic ash and everything. Why do I keep on saying ash? Am I really this obsessed with Pokemon? I need to stop us from seeing Pokemon. Anyway, we can now swim across here and get up here ourselves. And... And get this really jerkish thing we have to do. Um, let me just break this pot because I want rupees. I'm greedy. I'm greedy. So greedy that I'm willing to break pottery for money. Anyway. We want to do that. We want to throw bomb flowers into those cups that the statues are holding. And then... And then it'll bring the statues down, and then we can jump across the pit of lava. Oh yeah, if a bomb touches lava, it'll explode immediately. So let's try that again. Oh, come on! No, 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 no! Oh! I was just comboed! I was just comboed! Like, it was embarrassing. I'm all the way back here! I'm all the way back here! Ah! 
Come on, I only have like five minutes left of recording time, and I have to add the intros and endings, so not even. I have to end this at like 14 and a half, and I'm already at 10. Come on. Let me get this in. No! If I don't succeed in a few more tries, I'm gonna... Comboed once more! Comboed once more! You gotta be kidding me. I really don't want to make cuts in the video, then I have to split the audio and then trim the audio because Pinnacle Studio 1.5 won't let me just cut parts out. I have to trim the beginnings and ends, so I have to make different audios by splitting them. Audio tracks. So yeah. Cutting is a pain! Come on, yes! Finally! Now we can jump across here. And we are finally in the first official dungeon. I want to say something about a dungeon. Every dungeon has a dungeon map, a compass, a big key. Thank goodness I didn't say boss key. And, and a mid-dungeon item. The mid-dungeon item lets you access more parts of the dungeon. But anyway, we are in Dragon Roost Cavern. I'll explain the mid-dungeon items later. Second dungeon here by the time we're done with this dungeon, you'll, you'll know what it means, like how we can use them. And can I grab you? Right? Can, can I please uh like grab and then pull? Okay, good. I have to undo this path. So yes, the first dungeon in the game. I love this dungeon. Anyway, the first room is right here. And look what we got! Blue bulk of blooms carry deco sticks that are lit on fire. So yep, they're done for. Yep. Um, where is the ruby that he? Am I really this greedy going this far out of the way for rubies? Anyway, you want to carry the deku stick that they drop. Make sure they're lit on fire. You want to light these torches here, and you're gonna get this. Let's see what's in here. Throw that lighting this place on fire. And we get a small key. Small keys let us open certain doors. Like, if there's a locked door, um, like this one, we can open it. Before we can open it, we sacrifice a small key to open it. Very simple. Wanna break these? I'm going to break it. I'm going to break these spots. No rubies, no usual drops at all. That, oh, that is just weak. Anyway, jump attack! We are inside the Dragon Roost Cavern. Well, not like we already weren't before, but still. Um, okay. We need to come back here later. I wonder how these ar arbitrary skulls end up here. I mean, like, if you fall in the lava, then wouldn't the skull just burn with your the rest of your body? Like, it would just, like, pop up and end up right here. Anyway, to jump across this, we have to pull this out. Thank you, game. And... Okay. New enemy! It's like, this is called a keys. Very simple, they... They, um... They only have, like, one hit point, so yeah. Any, any attack will pretty much kill them. Yeah, let's blow this up here. He didn't want the bomb, just like bounces off the thing and then ends up right near you and then it blows up. I just hate that. Anyway, um, let's see. What we want to do in here, you have to take these water jugs. This is jerkish, you have to figure this out on your own. Throw them into the lava and they create panels for you to jump across. Yeah, really jerkish. What? I couldn't make that jump? I couldn't make that jump, are you kidding me? Ah, Come on. Anyway, um, I'm coming up on the time limit, so... Next time on Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, we are going to venture forth into the Forsaken... The Forsaken Fortress... Ah, Dragon Roost Cavern! And... Just adventure forth into it because we're definitely not going to finish it within 15 minutes. Alright, so stay tuned!